So in this problem, we're going to use the newton raphson iterative method to find x2, an approximation to the stationary point of y equals x e to the minus x, take away x log x, given x1 is equal to 0 0.4. OK, now the thing is that this, the newton raphson method, we've been using to find roots. OK, this question is not asking find the root of that or find the roots of that. OK, it's asking for the stationary point. So the stationary point is found when dy by dx is equal to 0. So I need to find dy by dx. That's going to be my f of x. So the first thing I need to do is find dy by dx. So I'm going to need to differentiate x e to the minus x using the product rule, which is the first times the derivative of the second. So minus x e to the minus x plus the second times the derivative of the first, so plus e to the minus x. Then I need to differentiate this using the product rule. So minus x times the derivative of log x is 1 over x, so that'd be minus 1. Then log x times the derivative of minus x is minus log x. So this is f of x. And stationary points will exist when this is equal to 0. So that is what I want to use. But the formula has f prime in it. So I'm going to need f prime of x as well. I need to differentiate this. So we've got the first times the derivative of the second. So that would be x e to the minus x plus the second times the derivative of the first, so minus e to the minus x. This differentiates to take away e to the minus x, minus 1 differentiates to 0, and minus log x differentiates to minus 1 over x. So we can tidy that up. We have x e to the minus x, take away 2 e to the minus x, take away 1 over x. And now I've got all the pieces I need to write out my formula. So xn plus 1 will be equal to xn take away f of xn, so minus xn e to the minus xn plus e to the minus xn, take away 1, take away the natural log of xn, all over xn e to the minus xn, take away 2 e to the minus xn, take away 1 over xn. OK, now... What I need to do is I now need to find x2. I've got x1 here. So x1 is 0 0.4. What is x2? So I essentially need to substitute 0 0.4 into this. Now, I'm going to use this uh, do it using the answer key. The reason being is that then I can check my result afterwards. So I'm going to put in 0 0.4 first, press equals. Then I'm going to use the answer key in place of the xn's. So the answer key, take away, fraction button, minus the answer key, times e to the minus answer, plus e to the minus answer key. Uh, take away 1, take away the natural log of the answer key, over uh, the answer key, times e to the minus answer, take away 2 times e to the minus answer, take away 1 over the answer key. OK, so pressing equals, we get 0 0.489148126.8. OK, so that is my answer. Now I'm going to keep on pressing equals, and I appear to be homing in on 0 0.4987685387. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calculator's solve function, and I'm going to put this equal to 0 and solve it. So, minus x e to the minus x plus e to the minus x, take away 1, take away the natural log of x, put that equal to 0, so alpha calc equals 0, then shift solve. Now I'm going to put 0.4 in as my starting point. And we get 0.4987685387. Okay? And so that confirms 
the result. So everything should be fine. Okay, and so that is the x2 that I wanted to find.